Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners on Bob Iacchino. Nikola gap up today, did not fill the gap, so we'll be watching for that at some point. Uh, put another key level on here, 55. That's when we're watching tomorrow. Above 55, we'll be watching the top of the rotation zone, about 58. Then if we get above 58, 63 prior major support level becoming resistance so those are the key levels to the upside if you want other shorter ones remember you can take your GAN projections from this hevo we don't really have a pausing bar yet but this is going to give you an idea at least on the four hour we can drop down to the one hour and you don't even have a pausing bar there yet but this could turn in if it does gap down at all uh that's where that would become the pausing bar right here and then you'd have some valid levels until then we'll just put them out there so people can see them so we have uh about 56.96 to 57.35 so i'd just be watching about 57 then if we got through that in the top of the rotation zone 59.26 those are just your minor levels driving back to that one hour real quick if you want to look for a little area if it does pull back tomorrow morning for key support see this little resistance shelf with the Probably the first cross the rotation zone coming in. We're going to be watching about 50, 50 to about 50, 70. That's the key area on any pullback first level of support. Jump back to that four hour. If we did drop below that, start I'd start watching again about this 1778 level. Then I'd start looking for yes or today's low before with the gap, which was a 4504. This is looking like a nice little bounce up to work off the drastically oversold condition. Let's take a look at that daily. Here's your daily chart. So you see there's also, we got the first cross of the rotation zone, but it's not a lot of separation right now. And that's coming in about that 57 level. Other than that, there's no other major levels on the daily. See back above the 50 day. So today's low and today's high are what we're going to be watching in that high right around that 55 mark and today's low. That's really about it. Other than that, easily out of oversold condition. So uh, I have nothing else to say besides if it gets above 55, watch for that continued rally. We'll talk to everyone later. Bye for now.